Hey, hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you the difference between delete and drop statement in SQL. So currently I have my MySQL workbench over here. So let's get started with the database. So my database name is currently latest. So to begin with, just type the use database name, okay? So that we are referring that we are using this particular database. So use latest, just run it. So I'm using this particular latest database. So first let's just create a sample table. So create table details, okay? And it's going to take a roll number. It will be some uh, name. Where can I put just 10? Okay, I will just open it. So we are getting another green tick, so that's really good. So now let's just insert some values, okay? Insert into details values. And it's going to be first one, it's going to be integer. I will just put one and name some, I will just put some random name, okay? So let's, let's just uh, implement this. Okay, it's inserted. Let's just uh, implement the same statement twice or thrice maybe. So that's really good. So we have done this in the instance. Now let's just see our output. So it's going to be select asterisk from details. Okay. So as you can see here, we have three rows of the same data. So that's really good. So first let's go with the delete statement because after dropping the statement, we the, our table won't be there. So first let's go with the delete statement and next the drop statement. Okay, so first let us let me tell you the syntax and then I will explain the function of delete. So it's going to be delete from table name. So details. Okay, so this is going to be a syntax for delete. So you can also delete a particular column, but in, in this case, I will I'm just more concerned about the difference. Okay. So delete what delete does is delete basically removes all the values present in the table. Okay, the only thing that will be left are the row name, or sorry, the column name and the table name. So these two things or the columns that are present in the table and the table name will be rem remaining and all the data or the values present inside the table will be completely removed. Okay, so now let me just run. So it, as I told you there, we will be only the table name and the column name will be remaining. So now if just, I'm setting this particular command and I'm running it. So it's a green tick, so that's really good. Now if I just select our table, we will have a empty table with only our column names. So as you can see here, only we have roll number name, our column names are only present and there is no data inside it. So that's how delete works. And now drop. So before dropping uh, our table, I will just uh, insert it again. Insert some, okay. Oh, I think once is enough. So if I just uh, run it, in. Okay, that's good. So we have one value and drop is also same as delete. The only thing different is that drop, all drop removes the column name as well as the table. It removes the everything from a particular uh, database the complete instance of the table is being removed and there will be no there won't be even a single evidence that the table is present in the particular database that what uh, drop is does it just completely erases all the information table name number of rows column name everything okay completely removes the table okay so now it's i think hope you're pretty clear now uh, delete only removes the data or present in the table it keeps the table name and column name aside it doesn't touch or do anything to that but drop removes or completely erases everything of the table including data, column name and the table name. So the syntax for drop is drop table table name. So it's going to be details for me. And now as you can see here, our, my table has this row name and some one value. So if I now just I drop the table. So we are getting a green tick for drop. If I now just select asterisk from details, I'm, we are going to get an error because drop completely removes a table the instance of the table also from our database so as you can see i hope you can see this one we are getting an error okay select asterisk from details because table latest that's a table latest dot details doesn't exist okay that's just after our drop uh, execution of a drop table details statement so this means that our table uh, details which is present in the latest database doesn't even exist so this is how this is the major difference between drop and delete and this is one of the most common confused uh, confusions that happen in mysql i hope you are understood with this and that's it for this video and my name is a programming channel do check my other videos, other videos of my channel i have done tutorials in c c plus plus java blender unity and 
blender as well so it will be really great if you subscribe and support me and thanks for watching